Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and Dr. Stephen Hawking has been offered a ride into space, and I'm here to plead with him not to go. And here's the reason why. Uh, Professor Hawking, sir, you uh, don't, apparently don't understand the forces that you're going to be undergoing now. Oh, well, you've been in zero G before. Uh, but that's completely different than taking a ride in a spaceship into orbit. Stephen Hawking is going into space. Cosmologists and physicists will leave the Earth on board Richard Branson's spaceship, he has said. Professor Hawking told Good Morning Britain that he'd never dra dreamed to be able to head into space, but Richard Branson has offered me a seat on Virgin Galactic, and I said yes immediately. Uh, Professor Hawking, the trip into space is hard on a healthy person, a young healthy person. The reason is, you have to undergo very serious G-forces in order to get there. The rocket has to accelerate to a certain speed. Now, I wouldn't know what all this is without looking them up. Rocket has to accelerate to a certain speed in order to get into orbit, and as a result, you know, you will undergo incredible G forces. I'm just afraid you, sir, are a helpless inv invalid. You can find that wheelchair. I don't think your body probably cannot take it. Richard Branson's space flight company, Virgin Galactic, hopes soon to carry people in space on commercial missions. Mr. Branson had suggested that he might be able to complete a flight in 2009, but the plan has been thrown off by a range of problems and disasters. In a wide-ranging interview, he said that his three children have brought me great joy, and I can tell you what will make me happy in travel to space. Professor Hawking also discussed Donald Trump, who said he was a demagogue, made him fear they might never be welcome in the U.S. That's bullshit. His priority uh, will be set to satisfy his electric, or neither liberal nor well-informed, he said. Uh, Professor Hawking... That's unbelievable bullshit. Professor Hawking, sir, he is not a demagogue. He's a one-of-a-kind leader. He also criticized Jeremy Corbyn, who, said, who he said and allowed himself to be portrayed left-wing extremist, which he is not. I don't even know who that is, Jeremy Cor Corbyn. Instead of Brexit must happen, it can't happen in the isolated and inward-looking way that the right-wing con the conservative party want. He warned politicians that he should ensure that Britain keeps up as many links as possible with Europe and the rest of the world, and said leaving Europe threatens British Britain's status as a world leader in science and innovation. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Boy, in, in one respect, I feel sorry for this guy. Because, you know, he's got an incurable disease and he's bound to that chair. In other respect, I know he's a flaming liberal. And, of course, a Trump hater. So, I don't know. Well, I'm going to space. It's not <laughs> no skin off of my teeth. Of
what I think is going to happen, happens. I don't want to be mean, this is the thing. I don't want to be mean and say what I'm thinking. Uh, Professor Hawking, don't go. Please. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.